All right, guys, in our last episode, um, we had taken and drilled the flange here for the PTO shaft. And I said there was a couple of other things I had to do. One was we had to make a washer, put a close tolerance fit to the bolt, and a close tolerance fit to this bore right here. And if you look, I'm hoping you can see that, you have maybe 15, 20 thousandths of recess, no play, no play in the bolt. And uh, that's what we were looking for. So we've taken the, we've actually taken the motor apart to uh, to make sure everything's going to work. Um, the other thing I did was I come in and I cut a little bit of a uh, of a relief in the flange so that uh, this flange this um, fan here has a little riser in it. So we just cut a relief that that height to make it a little better fit and. We're going to go with that. So we have the motor sitting here. We have it bolted down. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back together and um, crank it up and run it. And let's see if there's any vibrations or anything. So believe it or not, these fans have to go in a certain way. All right, so we just going to take our, uh, our bolt. Oh, we gotta put the crankshaft over there. We're sorry we didn't do that. Now this isn't my final installation. I'm probably have to take this back apart again. So I'm not putting any um, fastener, any Loctite on or anything right now. We'll probably come back and do all that when we finally have the motor ready to go into the mower. Plugs out. Well, one thing. I bought a new fuel filter. Let's see which way it goes. Slow goes that way.
I got a rag there in the uh, intake. Guys, so we got to put back together. I had to uh, cut out this little uh, screen a little bit for the, uh, the shaft, and um, I've got a battery hooked up to it, and I've got gas hooked up to it, and we're going to uh, fire it up. And it's, it's fastened down to the table with some, some cl uh, toe clamps here, really good. It ain't going anywhere. So stand by. See if I can get out your way. Do this. Alright. Pull out the chuck. And then let's see if the fuel is coming.
All right, guys, so we got her in place. And uh, you don't know how bad I want to crank this thing up and drive it right now, but I know I need to rebuild that pump. And so, but it looks like all my offsets were correct. The belt looks good in there. Um, pull the motor back out to take out the pump tomorrow. And um, next video will probably be rebuilding the pumps. So, till next time, so long. Mm -hmm.